Okay, so please excuse my voice. I'm not feeling the best today, but I have been a little bit behind giving you guys these individual problems for the TSI practice test. So I'm going to put out a few today, hopefully. So question number nine says, if 5C, I'll write it down, 5C minus 2 is equal to 3C, then what is 24C equal to? So we have to do this equation first, and then we're able to do the second one after. So in this situation, if you look at it, we have two variables. We have a C on this side, and we have a C on the other side. Normally, we only have one C in the equation, but in this case, we're starting off with two. So what we have to do before we can go ahead and solve, we need to just move some things around. So think moving things around. Now, when we're moving things around in the equation, we're only adding or subtracting. So on your piece of paper, I want you to write when you're moving, you're either adding or subtracting. Again, we're not solving yet, we're just moving. So we want to get everything that has a C on this side and all the numbers on this side. So numbers over here and C's on that side. So what we have to do is we have to move this 5C to the right side. So how do we move that 5C? Well, you have to ask yourself, is that 5C positive or negative? So because there's no sign before the 5C, that means it's a positive 5C. So because it's a positive 5C, we have to do the opposite to move it. Again, we're either doing adding or subtracting. So if it's being added right now, we're going to do the opposite, which is subtraction. So we're going to subtract 5C from both sides. The 5Cs cancel each other out because they're the opposites, but the same. You bring down the negative 2, bring down the equal sign, and then you do 3C minus 5C, which is negative 2C. Okay, and in a moment, I'm going to show you guys how I did 3 minus 5, because some of you may not be too familiar with adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. Others may haven't done it in a while, but let's focus on this equation first, and then we can talk about some of the skills that it takes. So again, we wanted to move the 5C to the right. The 5C was positive, so we subtracted it, which is the opposite. Once we did the opposite, we canceled the 5Cs out, and we're left with negative 2 is equal to negative 2c. All right, so now when you look at our new equation, there's only one c. So now that there's only one c, we can go ahead and solve. So on your piece of paper and write solve. When you're solving, you're either adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, depending on what's happening. Okay, so what are we going to solve? How are we going to solve? How are we going to solve? Well, we want to get the C by itself. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. So we want to get the C by itself. So what's causing the C to not be by itself? The negative 2. So in order to get the C by itself, we literally have to separate the negative 2 and the C, and then we can get rid of the negative 2. So how do we separate the negative 2 from the C? Well, right now, the negative 2 is being multiplied by the C. So in order to get rid of the negative 2, we have to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is just 1. And then on the right side, these negative 2 cancel each other out. And you're left with 1 is equal to C. Now that we know that 1 is equal to C, we can go ahead and put it into 24C. Again, when it's written side by side, they're being multiplied. So instead of writing 24 times C, we're going to write 21, 24 times 1. 24 times 1 is equal to 24. So our answer is going to be D. Now, let's go ahead and look at this question again, and let's just talk about the skills. So I'm going to erase this. And then a little mini review. 5C minus 2 is equal to 3C. I looked at this and I said, okay, there's a C here and a C here. This means I have to just move the C's to one side. So I'm going to move this 5C over. 
because this 5c is a positive 5c, we have to do the opposite, which is subtracting 5c from both sides. And we're left with negative 2 is equal to 3c minus 5c. So I told you I was going to show you how to do that. 3c minus 5c. Now, some people would say the answer is 8, Miss Amber. Some people will say the answer is 2, Miss Amber. Some people will just guess the answer is positive 5. The answer is negative 2. But how do you get the right answer? Anytime you have a positive, the 3c is positive, and a negative number, and you're trying to add them together, subtract them, ask yourself, which number is bigger? Is the positive number bigger or the negative number bigger? Whichever number is bigger, that sign is going to be the sign of the answer. So in this case, the negative is bigger because it's 5, so there's going to be a negative in the answer. Then you have to ask yourself, how much bigger is this 5 than the 3? So do 5 minus 3. It is 2 bigger. So the answer is negative 2. Again, if you have a positive and a negative number, so positive 12 minus 4, ask yourself, is the positive number or the negative number bigger? In this case, the positive number is bigger. So the answer is going to be positive. And then how much bigger is 12 than 4? So you do 12 minus 4, it's equal to 8, so the answer is going to be plus 8. So if we go back to our equation, 3c minus 5c, that's negative 2c. And then we have to go ahead and solve. So again, when we look at this, we are trying to separate the negative 2 and the c and then move the two over so that the C will be by itself. Okay, well, how do we separate the two and the C? Well, right now they're being multiplied. So in order to get rid of them, you have to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So I'm gonna divide both sides by negative two. Negative two divided by negative two is positive one. These negative twos cancel each other out and you're left with one is equal to C. And then you're able to just plug in one for C and you're able to get 24 as the answer. So I hope this video has helped you guys. I know I'm going slow in these videos. That's because some people watch my videos when they're too fast and they say, Miss Amber, I didn't really understand most of it. If you're watching me go over this problem, it's probably because you don't understand. And so I'm going very slow so that you can pick up on the skills. But if you were able to do this practice question in a breeze, that means you didn't really need this video. And so I appreciate you watching. Also take a look at some of my other videos. They're a little bit faster. Some of them have a bit more questions if you're looking for something. Um, also guys, just stay tuned. I am making a course and I will be putting that course in the description box when it is ready. So you may look in the description box today and you could see a course. If you see a course, go ahead and check it out. If you look in the description box and there's no course in it today, when I do have the course posted, I will make sure I come back and put it in this description box. So check out the description box and let me know how it goes. Um, as always, happy studying. I'll see you in the next one.